you and I met probably five or six years ago. It's and, been that long, yeah. And we met because of a little guy named mm-hmm. Baxter the dog. Brings a lot of people together. So tell us about <laughs> Baxter the dog. Tell us about what you were doing back then. And tell us about what's going on with Baxter um, now. Yeah, so in 2017, I just decided it was the year I was going to write a book. And it was something I'd always wanted to do. And uh, so Baxter is my dog. And he was really the inspiration for the character, as you know. And I, you know, I just wanted to do something really fun that would help me learn about the publishing world. It was an aspiration I've always had. Um, you know, I've always been a creative and wanted to be in different facets of art. So, um, you know, being a designer and, you know, an illustrator and, you know, a writer, all those things apl- applied to doing a self-published book. So I created the series and I did two books, a coloring book and a recipe book. And I remember that. <laughs> they I remember, were a lot of work. <laughs> I remember when we first started working together that you were, some of the ideas we generated yeah. were the recipe book mm-hmm. and the activity book. We, we talked a lot about what's something parents can do with their kids. Yeah, for sure. And you were really part of a lot of those like beginning kind of conversations where we were figuring out, you know, I, I understood a lot of the creative, um, just the creative needs that were going to be important to make that series uh, successful and make it something that would be fun for kids to get into. Um, But there's a whole nother side to being a creative professional, um, especially when you decide to do it as a business that you have to learn how to do the business part. (laughs) Unfortunately, for most creatives, we, we prefer to just, you know, do the art, but it's actually been really fun to learn. And, you know, it's, um, as I've learned about the different areas of you know, business and how to like run my business and time management and all those things that, you know, you really have to kind of just take a deep breath and go one at a time um, and learn. It's been fun. It's been fun for me. It's a lot of work, but it's been fun. So, it is. It's great. And I, I'm, yeah. I'm a big fan of the Baxter books. So. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. They are, they are super fun. Yeah. So. so that was kind of where it all started. And, um, you know, when I had started making that book series, I was also simultaneously um, had begun my own freelancing design business. So we sort of were, you know, figuring out both. Um, you, had, you had just left working for corporate yeah. right around that time, right? Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to do this. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I did. So I, you know, I published the books. They were a lot of fun. Did a lot of cool things, events. I was on TV a few times. Yeah. Like, um, you, you know, just got to go out and like, read to the kids yeah, and do all did, that. You did a lot of going into schools and reading. And it was, was fun. Yeah. And it really like, it was stressful too, because that's not, um, you know, I'm, I've definitely got, I've got like a pseudo extrovert thing happening where like, I'm really introverted, but I've learned how to, <laughs> to talk to people. I feel pseudo, like, so. pseudo extrovert. <laughs> that's, that's your hashtag for this episode. Uh, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so all that was going on. And then while I was doing that, I was building uh, Heart House Creative, which is doing great. Um, I'm in my sixth year for that business. And, you know, it's been kind of a wild ride. Um, I actually have my second employee starting on Monday and the client list is still growing. So it's been, it's been really great. 